we will talk about the top seven causes of tingling and numbness sensation. When we say tingling, we mean a pins and needles sensation. People describe it as prickling or light electrical shocks. When we say numbness, we mean loss of sensation in a specific area of the body. It means you are unable to feel touch, pain or temperature. Tingling can be with or without this sensation loss. We need this difference because numbness usually indicates a more serious and long-term condition like neuropathy, when nerve damage is more severe. While tingling alone is more common and usually happens because of temporary nerve compression, like crossing legs for too long. The most common cause of tingling and numbness is transient paresthesia. This occurs when there is prolonged pressure on nerves, such as sitting with legs crossed or falling asleep on an arm. It is a universal experience that affects nearly everyone at some point. The sensation typically resolves upon changing position. In this case, prolonged compression of tissues leads to compression of blood vessels that supply the nerves, resulting in temporary nerve dysfunction. Additionally, the direct mechanical compression of the nerve itself can irritate the nerve fibers contributing to the symptoms. We call it paresthesia because it is a broader term than tingling. Paresthesia refers to various types of abnormal sensations, including tingling, burning, crawling, buzzing or numbness. The second most common cause of tingling and numbness is diabetic neuropathy. When a person has diabetes, blood glucose levels rise. So it directly damages the nerves and blood vessels which supply these nerves. Glucose binds to proteins and forms oxidative damage to tissues. At first, small nerves are affected and cause burning and tingling sensations, followed by large nerves causing numbness and loss of sensation. Usually the condition starts with tingling and burning in the hands and feet. Symptoms start from toes and fingers and progress proximally upward. This is the hallmark of diabetic neuropathy and is called the stocking glove pack. A person may say, my feet feel like they are on fire, or I can't feel the ground when I walk, or touching my feet feels painful even with light pressure. Then blood glucose levels are persistently more than 180 milligrams per deciliter, or glycated hemoglobin is more than 7%. It already causes nerve damage. CLA usually develops in 10 to 15 years in poorly controlled diabetes. 50% of diabetic patients will have neuropathy. Treatment is pregabalin or gabapentin in painful cases or antidepressants like duloxetine or amitriptyline. But they relieve pain but don't reverse nerve damage. Exercise and control of diabetes are a must. A cure for diabetic neuropathy is not possible. But managing symptoms and slowing down the process is possible. The third most common cause of tingling and numbness is carpal tunnel syndrome. Carpal tunnel syndrome is a condition where the median nerve which runs through the wrist gets compressed in a narrow passage called the carpal tunnel. It causes symptoms like tingling, numbness and pain in the hand, in the thumb, index finger, middle finger and part of the ring finger. It is more common in adults between the ages of 30 to 60 years. Women are affected three times more than men. Repetitive wrist movements cause it, like typing, assembly line work or playing musical instruments, diabetes, hypothyroidism, rheumatoid arthritis mm. and pregnancy increase the risk. Symptoms gradually worsen over time without treatment. The hallmark of the condition is tingling and numbness in the thumb, index and middle fingers. Pain and discomfort can be in the hand or forearm and worsen at night. In early stages, symptoms are intermittent and triggered by typing or driving. In later stages, it becomes constant. Anti-inflammatory drugs like ibuprofen are used for pain. Corticosteroid injections relieve pressure on the median nerve. Surgical treatment is used in severe cases. The first most common cause of tingling and numbness is vitamin B12 deficiency. 12 is crucial for nerve health, red blood cell and DNA synthesis. B12 deficiency is common in vegetarians and older adults with reduced stomach acid. 
which limits absorption. Also in chronic alcohol users, symptoms of B12 deficiency include tingling in the hands and feet, an early hallmark symptom. Numbness develops later. Unsteadiness, balance problems and memory issues occur in fatigue, weakness, pale skin and shortness of breath are also common symptoms when anemia is present. In blood tests, a B12 level less than 200 picograms per milliliter and elevated homocysteine and methylmalonic acid. Treatment is vitamin B12 supplementation, oral forms of 1000 to 2000 micrograms daily, intramuscular injections in severe cases or poor absorption. Animal-based products are recommended. The fifth most common cause is alcoholic neuropathy. It is common among chronic alcoholism cases. Alcohol has a direct damaging effect on nerve cells and their myelin sheath. Alcoholism also causes vitamin B deficiencies like bone, B6 and B12 due to poor dietary intake and absorption, which are critical for nerve health. Initial symptoms are mild, typically beginning with tingling in the toes and feet. If untreated, symptoms progress to numbness, muscle weakness, and difficulty with balance and coordination. The sixth most common cause is radiculopathy. It is caused by compression, irritation, or inflammation of the spinal nerve root as it exits the spinal cord. It happens when intervertebral discs compress the nerve, causing symptoms. This is called disc herniation. In rare cases, the cause is spinal stenosis. The hallmark of radiculopathy is tingling and numbness that radiates down the arm or to the leg. Symptoms are often accompanied by shooting pain along the same path. If nerves affected are in the neck, it is called cervical radiculopathy. If it affects the lower back, it is called sciatica, affecting the buttocks, leg and feet. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs are the first line treatment, but in severe cases, surgery may be needed. And the seventh most common cause is multiple sclerosis, a rare but important autoimmune disease which damages the protective covering of nerves. It causes tingling and numbness in different parts of the body. The, the pattern varies among individuals. In some cases, numbness and tingling can occur together.